Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nico here. In this video, we're gonna make some COVID face shield masks. Let's go. All right, before we get started, you guys, I wanna do a big giant ups to my buddy Ryan, Ryan Lewecki over at RMC Gaming. He's the one who gave me the initial design for the face shields. Um, I've been working with him and he's been working tirelessly non-stop for everything. He even started a GoFundMe for this thing. And you guys, he is the, he's the one who inspired me to take action and to do all of this stuff. So go follow him, go give him some ups, man. Find him on Facebook, RMC Gaming. Um, Ryan, thank you, man, I appreciate it. Thank you for inspiring me to do this. Um, so normally what you guys will see here is um, movie stuff, right? From video games, comics, um, so on and so forth. And they armor. And so um, this time I want to do a little something different. Actual armor, real armor, something that will actually protect you. Um, our healthcare workers out there need it. Um, there's a global shortage of face shields to, to protect the real heroes, the real Avengers out there who are fighting this virus to keep all of us safe. So um, what we're going to do is I've halted all production of all my personal prints and all my machines. And we're going to make some face shields to help these guys out. And they're all going to be donated. It's going to be 100% free. Um, it's going to go to whatever hospital that needs it. And I'm going to go do this uh, for the foreseeable future. So um, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing it, um, where you guys can get the files and all that other shenanigans and everything you're going to need for this thing. So let's go to the slicer and let's slice this thing up. All right, you guys. So I've um, dropped the file for the face shield frame onto my slicer. I'm going to be using my CR10 S4 for this. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go straight to the process. I just dropped it and then arranged it like so to maximize the bed. I'm going to be using a 0.8 millimeter nozzle so I can produce these a lot faster. Um, I just put the extrusion width on auto, which is about almost one mil. For the layer, we're going to go with a 0.3 millimeter layer height, um, two shells on the outside with 100% infill. And for the speeds, I'm going to put this at 70 millimeters per second at um, 220 for the nozzle. Um, bed is standard at 60. And so I'm going to now throw this onto the machine. Um, after it prints, I want to tell you guys um, how I assemble this. All right, guys. So now we're going to put this together. So you got the frame for your head. And all I'm going to take is one of this acetate clear protection, protector frame, whatever things and a standard three hole punch. And I'm just gonna put it in there, punch, got the holes, and it'll all line up exactly to the frame. Ah. It, it lines up, I promise. <laughs> And then now, this can be sent out um, to all the hospitals that need it, to whoever really that needs it. Um, I know I have a lot of family members and a lot of friends who are um, in the healthcare industry. So um, I'm going to package these up. I'm gonna make as much of these as I can. And that's it, you guys. And that's it, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, this entire thing has been just like a twilight zone for, for, for me and I'm sure for, for you guys too. And um, I just wanna do my part and, and help um, the true heroes, the real Avengers, the real superheroes out there in, in the healthcare industry who are trying to fight this damn virus. So um, do your part, you know, stay home. Um, if you can, make these, the file, and everything you're going to need is in uh, the description down below. And and yeah, man, um, again, big ups to Ryan Lewecki over at RMC Gaming. Buddy, you're a rock star, man. Thank you for inspiring me to do this. Um, and that's it. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.